The book is called uh, The Hockey Stick and the Climate Wars. The first point I'd like to make is that the scientific case uh, for the reality of human-caused climate change uh, is not that complicated. Uh, the hockey stick is a curve that my uh, co-authors and I developed more than a decade ago that demonstrates that recent warming um, is anomalous in a very long-term context. We also know the temperatures are warming. The climate wars is this battle that's ensued uh, over the past two decades. Um, you know, even Nature magazine has sort of characterized the debate now between uh, the forces of science and reason and the forces of anti-science as a war. We are heavily invested uh, societally in fossil fuels. We derive much of our energy from fossil fuels. I found myself at the center of these climate wars um, unknowingly when my colleagues and I published this graph more than 10 years ago and it became an icon in the climate change debate. And as happens to icons in the climate change debate, uh, they often get fiercely attacked. And ever since then, I've been subject to what you might almost call a crescendo of attacks. They see us, unfortunately, as a threat. It's essentially a strategy that was taken straight from the playbook of the tobacco industry from decades earlier. These are sort of the professionals. These are the people who have an agenda. I think the best example I can give you is sort of some of the uh, events in the uh, days leading up to my lecture here, where I uh, had a uh, advertisement, a radio ad uh, taken out, and uh, they demanded that uh, Penn State cancel my lecture. It's that much more difficult when you're operating in this headwind of an industry-funded disinformation campaign. Of course, we're going to be outmatched. Many use the word McCarthyist attack. Uh, I've even had you know, my, my uh, safety threatened, uh, my life threatened, as have many uh, climate scientists now, thinly veiled threats against my family. I, you know, a, a day doesn't go by when I don't have to fend off some uh, attack. And so, sure, there's a cost. It would be easy to become cynical and to become disenchanted and depressed, frankly. I do need a release uh, from, you know, from this, um, from, from, from the work. I like to think that, um, that good men and women uh, haven't done nothing over the reality of human-caused climate change. We don't take kindly to uh, being subject to dishonest attacks. And, and when that happens, we'll fight back. And I think you now see the scientific community almost uniformly fighting back against this assault on science. And to be able to um, win that battle uh, without engaging in the low tactics of your opponent means you have to be more wily than them. I have uh, gradually grown to embrace um, the, uh, the, the role that I now find myself in as a communicator. It shouldn't be a political issue. Um, it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't a political issue. It only takes one thoughtful letter of support to offset a thousand thoughtless attacks. And those of us who have had to go through this are, are you know, battle-hardened, um, and I think we're the better for it. Defending good science, I, I believe it's a cause, and it's a, it's a noble cause in my view.